what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to take a look at how to create this simple text reveal animation inside davinci resolve once you're inside resolve right click in the media pool and create a new fusion composition i'm going to set the duration to around uh, maybe two seconds and click on create let's drag in this fusion composition onto our timeline and now we can just go inside the fusion tab let's just put this media out on the right side i'm going to start off by creating our text plus node so just drag this and uh, just type in your text. I'm going to type in reveal. To see the text, you just drag this onto the viewer. And now I can change the make changes to this font. So I'll just change the font style and increase the font size as well. All right. So the next step is to create the animated line. So for that, we will need to add a background node. So it's right. It's the very first icon. Just drag this like that background and you can even rename this node as well so if you right click on this and you have the option to rename this so i'll just rename this line just for the sake of organization make sure that you click on this node and also add a rectangle uh, rectangle mask node on this so just click on this icon that's a rectangle and it will add a rectangle mask on this now if you take a look at this line node so just drag this onto your second viewer Right now the color is set to black so this is the color of your line again i'm going to change its height and width so go back to your rectangle node and change the height and width if you want to change that as well you can do that so i'm going to leave the width as it is i'm going to set the height to 0 0.031 so now the next step is to animate this so make sure your playhead is at the very first frame you can check the time right here it's at zero so that means you're at the very first frame I'm going to create a keyframe on the width so i'll just create a keyframe by clicking on this diamond icon so it will now change to red color that means you have created the keyframe and at that frame at the zero frame or at the first frame i want the width to be at zero all right so now we will type in 30 over here and that will move our playhead to the 30th frame and i'll change the width to 0.5 Alright, so now if we take a look at our animation, this is what we have created so far. Alright, so that is looking good, but we can improve this animation by going into the spline editor, which is at the top spline. Click on that and make sure you check the width option and just find your keyframes. You can click on this zoom to fit button and you can select these two keyframes by dragging or you can just select a click on this icon that says select all and uh, change the graph to smooth graph uh, you can now hold the alt key on your keyboard and uh, make changes to your graph as well so i'm going to drag these handles and now if we exit out of this and play this again play this animation one more time that's going to look much smoother all right so that is looking good now we will animate the position as well so make sure your playhead is again at the very first frame I'll just move the move the shape or or the line on top of the text so you can't see it right now but if we move to the 30th frame you can just see where this line is at the top I'll just change the position and just put this right over here now if we go back to our very first frame uh, not the very first frame we'll go to the 30th frame and create a keyframe on the center and now we'll just move to the 60th frame and move the move it uh, under our text so make sure you select the rectangle node and just bring this under your text like that again go to the spline editor uh, select only the displacement keyframe and again click on the fit button select all the keyframes convert the keyframes to smooth keyframes hold down the alt key and create a curve like this now you can exit out of this so now our animation will be much smoother all right so the next step is to create our reveal animation so for that we will need to create a background node so just drag this put this under our text um, so now let's just add a rectangle mask to this background let's just with this first of all let's just with this background node by dragging it into our viewer and now let's add a rectangle mask node on this let's just put this right over here so on the rectangle mask i'll change the height and the width 
I'll just match it according to the height of my text and change the width as well so I think that is perfect now we'll just animate we can either animate the text position or the uh, rectangle position but let's uh, just animate the rectangle position for this tutorial so for that we will need to start at 30th frame create a position keyframe so uh, on the center x and y click a key uh, create a keyframe by clicking on this timer icon go to 60th frame oh uh, and at the 30th frame i would change the position and just move this on top of our text like that and let's go to the 60th frame and just bring this back to its original position which is 0 0.5 all right now if we go to the spline editor select just these two keyframes uh, create uh, select these keyframes and convert the keyframes to smooth keyframes hold down the alt key and create a graph like this and let's exit out of the spline editor now we will just combine the text and the background by adding a merge node in between these two so now we can just combine these two together like that and on this merge node you click on that and you have the operator over here it is set to over you click on that and set that to in now the next step is to add a final merge node and we'll just connect the line with the merge and uh, the merge one with the merge two as well and now if we just throw this merge two into our viewer like that and uh, now if we play this animation All right so um that's pretty much it now we can just connect the merge with the media out and go back to the edit page now if you play this animation this is what we have so far and uh, our animation ends right at this frame so i can just trim this down now if you think that your animation is too fast you can right click and uh, change the speed of this clip uh, we need to first of all create this into a new compound clip and just right click on the clip and click on change clip speed and on the keyframes uh, you set this to stretch to fit and speed we can set this to maybe around 70 percent click on change and uh, now our speed will be much slower now in order to create an out animation you can copy this clip and click on ctrl v to paste this clip and on the second clip right click and click on change clip speed and click on reverse speed and click on change and now we'll have the in animation and the out animation as well so that's how easy it is to create the text reveal animation inside of Insure Resolve. if you have any questions let me know in the comments below other than that if this video is helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one